Hey, Riders! Hey, Riders! Superstars! 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 Oh, yeah, superstars! Superstars! <laughs> Woo! Hey, Riding Superstars! We are puffing. Because <laughs> that was a fairly energetic, I think it's our most energetic intro yet. Really? Yeah, yeah, we'll have to have a look. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh. This is Sigata, guys. Sigata is all the way from Lithuania, one of our YouTube subscribers. And as I promised you, I'm going to bring people over to get to ride our horses. Another one! <laughs> now, Sigata's biggest issue was fear. Quite paralysed by fear, and that's what this is all about. Um, she looks epic in this video, and you might think she's a pre St George rider. How long have you been riding for, Sig? A few years. Three, four, five, six? Three. Three years. Three years she's been riding, okay? You wait till you see this, it's super exciting. So what we're gonna do, a little bit different here. First segment's gonna be a bit of a discussion after the ride, so that she can really explain to you some big learnings. Then we'll show you the lesson. And then at the end, guys, remember, put all of your questions or your learnings underneath it, because we've got that big prize that we do every month for the next three months. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, just look underneath. Okay, bye. <laughs> Kiss, 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 kiss. <laughs> so in the beginning, that small little moment that you had with, oh, I can't keep my hands together. That's why I'm so strict with you, because I know that you can do this. So imagine if you didn't, if I wasn't strict on you just to do that, and you never felt that. But it's those little things that make a difference. Uh -huh. If you don't keep your hands together, he can't be upright and then he can't do anything. It is such a small thing, but it's the truth. How do, how do you feel? Yeah, and actually it's, it's like a combination of hands and your body. Yeah. Oh my God. And do you feel more now how you just sit in him and you sit with him? Yeah. Yeah. And it's not scary at all. No. no. And that canter is huge. Like some people, when they first ride a canter like that, they, they get afraid because they think he's going to rear because it's so high. Hey? Pretty cool, hey? Right? <laughs> yeah. What could, you, what could you tell? Talk about your fear. So everyone's listening right now. Let's pretend this is like a live masterclass. What would you tell people? What have you learned? What about today about, you know, just talk about it. Well, There's I no think, right or wrong. Yeah, I think that um, when, I, when I'm listening to you in study sessions and you say, no, do not overcomplicate things. And it seems like you are not overcomplicated, but actually you do. And I really like you, if you keep me on one thing, I realize how overcomplicating everything I do. Like I'm riding and it's like a thousand thoughts in my head. And it's just one thought and that's it. And so those hands together, that's the train tracks. Yeah? That's Be what I wanted to feel. <laughs> <laughs> that's your train tracks. Oh my God. And then you feel how you can play with the tempo then, and it's yeah. not complicated, is it? And he's with me. Yeah. <laughs> Tell everybody what that feeling feels like. So when, you, so when we went from big canter to small canter, so that's ultimately the ultimate of half halting, technically. Uh -huh. That's the ultimate. But did you feel at any time you were kind of slowing him down? What did it feel like, actually? Well, it was like, it's not slowing down. It's actually like changing the way of, of movement. Of movement yeah. Sorry. It's, it, it's not slowing. It's just going from this to... Yeah, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. So guys, when you saw her do that really small canter, that's exactly what that is. It's a big step in the canter to a collected canter, which is a small step. That's it. Yeah, yeah. but you feel like on the wave. Yeah, you feel like on a wave. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And the front gets, do you feel also how simple it is? How in the beginning he was behind the vertical. Uh -huh. And then as soon as I told you to start riding to the ceiling, like what a simple thing, ride to the ceiling and your horse then goes forward. Talk yeah. about that feeling. It's totally different than I used to because I'm all the time thinking to push forward. Yeah. And he's like following my seat then. 
he Correct. moves into trot like with me. Yes. Like he lifts the bag and yeah. I'm just sitting on it. Yes. And that's because basically in the training scale, we teach them to connect. So they've got rhythm, then they have suppleness, then they have connection. But then that rhythm, suppleness, connection is on the bit and that they just do. So no longer do you have to do that anymore. They just do that. And then w what you do, they follow. Yeah. Yeah? It's really like this. <laughs> when you first made him small, you felt how his neck came in a little bit and his uh -huh. head went up a little bit. Yeah. Why do you think that happened? Because I was too stiff with my hands. You put the handbrake on, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, because I was, Whoo, what's happening here? Yeah, yeah, is it going to work? Is it going to work? Yeah, yeah. And then it did work. So then the next time when you did it, did you feel how you almost didn't need to do anything with your hands? And, and the only thing you do do with your hands is actually give him space. So that's what the lift and release is. Yeah, it's it's like, to make sure that you don't start doing this. It's actually more for you than him. It's like more finesse feeling. It's just sm like I have a thought and he listens. Yeah. I don't have to do a lot of things yeah. with my hands. Yeah. And that's Amazing. because you've got the basic walk, trot, canter. The basic connection. I'm in love with him. <laughs> We're in love with you. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah? Tell everybody about what your goal was when you came. Well, super number one goal was to, um, <clears throat> to get confidence back, to feel that I can ride this big moving horse. Yeah. Because I had this bad connection in my brain that I can't ride it. Yeah. And the moment I get it, that I can just click everything in, into places. Yeah. It's kind of saw me before. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll even show you guys a bit of B-roll footage here of Sigatra on her first day riding and then her first day cantering. Talk about that, that moment in the outdoor where you finally realised well, that you could do it and, and how we got there. Well, the first feeling was that I was really afraid, so I was holding back and G was perfect. He wasn't doing anything. She was like, oh, woman, <laughs> just let me go. G is our maze balls. Yes. yes. And um, like if you're in a stress, your body goes into this position. Yeah. And actually, what it, and it takes over you. You just can't do anything, it seems like. But yeah. the moment, well, with your help, because <laughs> I trusted you. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, Have you too. seen what I'm wearing today? Like, where did this outfit come from, right? How bright could my pants be? <laughs> don't, don't ruin everything. I still trust you. <laughs> so, and that was actually just, I had to make the step, just lean back, just honestly to make the step and see what's happened. And that moment was brilliant. It's just like, what? We, Sigurd, and we'll show you in the video up here, guys, there's some, some, some B-roll here. Sigurd went from quite upset, really. We, we, you know, we were, and even I was like, well, I'm not sure if I can break this, but I'm very tenacious and I was going to make it happen. Um, and oh, I just said to her, even if, just give it a go for a half a second. Just a half a second, put your complete trust in me and the horse and just see what happens. And normally when you say that to people, they have a success for a metre and then it's two metres and then it's five metres. But Sigata, she's a psychiatrist or a psychologist? I've got to get this right. Psychologist. Psychologist. <laughs> so she understands how the brain works. So you can see her go, fine, I'll try it. And then just as it worked, you can see her go, I knew that, I'm a psychologist. <laughs> and then she just kept going. We had to stop her. Just cantering around and around. And around. <laughs> but how was that feeling? Really good and it's really safe. Yeah. It's really, then I feel safe, like I was, I couldn't stop. Yeah. It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. And the other thing was, um, I think with, but yeah, it's today with the hands. Yes. Like I was thinking that I'm doing Grand Prix hands. So guys, do more. <laughs> <laughs> Do more Grand Prix hands. Because again, I'll show you. Actually, I might take the camera from you for a sec, Tobes. Just bring your hands in here, guys. One thing, hello, one thing that I want to show you is that with your hands, just let me, can I see it? Yes. With your hands, this is where they should be. So put them together for me, love. So that's where they should be, okay? So you can see the rain here is connected to the shoulder, basically. If you have your reins out here, you see all that space between the shoulder and the rein. All of that space there, 
is space that you actually have no control over. So your horse, I hope I've even got me in frame there. Yeah. So your horse, rather than being upright like this, he's trotting like this, okay? So you imagine even me asking you to trot now, I've either got my shoulders here and I've got some support that's keeping them upright and I say trot, or you've got all this space either side of you, you've kind of on a tight rope, so you need a little bit of help to, to balance yourself and you end up sort of falling a bit like this and someone saying, please go forward. You might eventually, but you're just a bit, that's what having the reins too far away means. It's like having a huge, massive train rail. So think of train tracks and think of the rail where the wheel attaches to. It fits the wheel, you know, it's that big. So the wheel fits on it. But imagine if that, that, tr that track was like that wide with a wheel that had to sort of fit on top of it. It still might work, but the train will go like this as it goes straight. That's, that's your reins. Does that make sense, Sigita? Yeah, and that's the other thing that I wanted to, like I was talking to you, I want really to feel what the train tracks is because when I'm riding my horse, it's all the time like, am I get, getting it right? Am I getting it right? Yeah. And when you put your hands, it, yeah. it And how amazing is it? You can feel like you're actually riding forward. So you ride to the tops of his ears. How, well, how is that feeling? <sighs> <laughs> It's like you can feel his whole body with your hands. Yeah. Yeah. Not just the neck or yeah. Neck. That's it's a really good phrase. Body. Yeah. That's amazing. See, and you can, and then you said to me, Sigeta, um, at one point, what do I do if his head's up? If he's not round, uh -huh. what, did, what did you have to do? You just had to soften your fingers. Yeah. That was it. How simple is that? No pulling. No I pulling. Love to pull. Yeah, just this. Yeah. Yeah. Show you. Show me. Show them that, Toby. Just this, guys. It actually, I think, it just loosens up my rein when I'm playing with fingers. Yeah. I'm not getting this. Oh my God. Yeah. This yeah. Feeling. It's just. just yeah. That's right. Yeah. So and then like, last bit was the communication with me. So you felt that one rein was heavier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But rather than just saying that, I, had to, I found it by accident because you were doing other things that were weird. And then I'm like, what are you doing, Sigata? And she's like, well, actually the outside rain feels heavy. Were you amazed by how simple that was to solve? Yeah. Do you, do you understand what happened there? Um, not quite, but okay. I ha had the feeling that if I let go, like I'm actually was more like not he was pulling, but I was pulling him. That's it, that's it, that's it. So all it is, that moment when you get that, um, that uneven feeling in the hands, where one rein feels heavy, our feeling, yeah, keep walking, he doesn't want to, he's like, oh, I can't, oh. Um, <laughs> the feeling when you have one rein heavy is that you wanna do this. So if you look at this, let's say this rein was heavy, mm -hmm. okay? You feel like you wanna turn them off it all the time yeah. and solve it, yeah? yeah. Actually, guys, the only reason why this rain is heavy is this rain stronger than that rain. So if you imagine you've got one big rain that goes from one hand through the mouth to the other hand, all it means is that this rain is longer, so it's tighter, yeah? Mm -hmm. So all you have to do is give that one and move and take this one so they feel even again. Does that make a bit of sense, Sig? Yes, but it's so counterintuitive. Intuitive, yeah, pop it back onto Sigurdur for that one. To talk about that feeling, now you understand it. Like really, I wanted, and I was pulling him because I felt that I have to do that because he was heavy on that range. Yeah. And it was just an inch, it's just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, whoo. And it worked, how long did it take to work? It's a millisecond. A millisecond, yeah. It's so, like, I'm amazed how simple is it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So do you believe me now when I say, guys, believe me when I say it, dressage is simple. Dressage riders just like to make it sound com um, complicated. I don't know why. It ain't complicated. It's really, really simple. You know, and, and I think it's so important that we stop using words that don't mean anything, like throughness. That means so many things to different people. We all get the gist of what that means, but in an actionable way, what does it really mean? Kind of nothing. Make him softer. 
That's a beautiful world. It's a beautiful word, isn't it? But what the hell does it actually mean? <laughs> Do you know? I don't know. Make him more active. And I right? Think what am I supposed to do? And this is, I think, the diff why it becomes so complicated because we use these words that are so grey, they sound fancy, like, oh, I know, you know, I can say through, but it doesn't actually mean anything. So then you don't know what to do. Whereas give one rein, take one rein, ride to the ceiling, move your hands to his ears, then back, to his ears, then back. Those words are things that you can do. They mean something. And that takes the confusion out of dressage. Would you agree I with think, that? Yeah, I, I, I'm thinking that it's the most important thing because actually if you like want to find, um, I don't know what color your pants are. and you Blue. It's not green <laughs> and it's not black and it's not white and you never get it. Right. It just, and I think that we, with these beautiful wor words, um, we all the time poke him at the problem and never thinking about what to do to fix that. Exactly. And actually it feels like riding is more fun then. We yes. Just well, how fun, and, and, exactly. And this is probably the most, the, 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 you know, the, the best you've ridden, the, the, the happiest you've been, but actually, and, and, and I bet you've never scanted that small before, but it's not difficult. No. It's not boring, it's not hard work, it's actually fun. <laughs> and guys, I hate to tell us all, no one makes money out of horses. We're not, <laughs> no one does. <laughs> we, we do it because we love it, but we don't love it. Like how ridiculous is that? It's, it's like this abusive relationship, isn't it? Really? It's supposed to be fun and you can ride like that. Look how cool that looks, guys. And that was fun, right? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not difficult. And that's what I want. We, that's why I've really shown you Sigurd today because I just want you to see that, guys. Right? All right. So let's get in and actually have a look at her lesson, guys. Um, enjoy it. And um, yeah, I think, um, Sig, thank you very, very much for showing everybody this because. I think we'll all agree Sigateria is uber, 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 uber talented. And all she needed was a bit of love. <laughs> I love it. Put your inside hand a little bit more onto the neck and play with your fingers like a piano. Good girl. In that corner, sweetheart, you've got him counter bent all the time and not in a good way. So what I want you to do, look at me as you come past. This inside hand goes here and then that way a bit. So push it toward the wall, the inside hand. No, push it toward, that's it. Yeah, push the, no. Push the inside hand towards the wall. Better, that's good. That's be better. Do you feel that? Yeah. Do so you feel like you're propping his shoulder into the wall? So do it again now. Put your inside rein into the wall. That's better. And keep doing it. That though, why did you stop doing it there? What was your feeling? He's heavy on the outside. Okay, look at your hands. Great job. Yes! Now think to yourself like this, honey. Do exactly what you're doing. Don't change anything else. Just think to the roof. With your hands, with his head. Think to the roof. Lift your hands a little bit. That's it, lift them higher. That's it. Shorten your reins a little bit more. Good girl. Lift your reins even higher. Hop. There you go. And now he's in front of the vertical because you're riding to the ceiling. Up in the front. Where's your hands? Put them together. Put the... Yeah. Yes. How does that feel, Sig? Good. Up to the ceiling. So again, shorten your reins so that you can ride your reins more to the tops of his ears. Tops of his ears. Keep the shoulder. So by doing that, you put your hands together. Yeah. Good. Try to use less leg. Good girl. Keep your shoulder. You lost the shoulder. You've got him counter flexed again. Shoulder. You Sorry. forgot it. That's it. Inside shoulder. Do you understand what I'm saying? How does the outside rain feel? Is it okay? Or is it heavy? A bit heavy. So let go of it. Put your inside rein closer to the neck and let go, but keep riding to the ceiling. Yeah? 
Flick your hands like this. They're too long again. Your reins have slipped through your fingers. Ride to his ears and let go of your inside rein. Hold your in so let go of your outside rein. Hold your inside rein closer to the shoulder. Yes. How does that? Yes. How does that feel? Shorten your reins. You've lost them again. Ride up to his ears. Up to his ears. Put your inside rein on the neck. Up to his ears. Then you see the trot changes. Shorten your reins again. That's it, that's it. There's your fancy trot. Do you feel that lovely? Yeah. Up to the ears. Is the outside rein feeling heavy still? If it is, whoop, Oops, what sorry. are you doing? Do you stop, stop. riding? Yeah. Do you need, why? What's wrong? Um, I'm like hitting the wall, is it okay? Yeah. Really? Okay. That's all right. That's why it's built like this. You can't win everything all at once, it's okay. Okay, yeah. I was worried. No, you can have a walk, change the rain. Look to the inside. A little bit what you do, lovely. He's always in this bend, yeah? Uh-huh. He needs to be straight or slightly this bend. So you put your inside rein always in, like, like this, honey, look at me, into the shoulder. Even crossing the neck almost for your feeling. Don't use, push your legs back all the time. Get your, 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 yeah, that's it. Now, when you go to trot now, okay? Look at me. You go that way too much. You flatten it. Think you're going to lift him. Think you're going to make him rear. Yeah? And try different. No, no, no. And try be really different about what you're doing. Okay, so lift him up. So already your hands are down here. Lift up. Okay, now trot. Don't rise, sit. Good girl. That was better. That was an improvement. Good job. Inside bend. So you put the inside rein on the neck. Put your hands together. Up in the, yeah, shorten your reins again. But you can rise now, sorry, sweetie, that's fine. I'll solve that later. That's not this, that's not this, that's not this trip. Up in the shoulders, shorten your reins, put your hands to his ears. Inside bend, so put the, the, the inside rein on the neck a lot. More, come on, up to his ears, up to his ears with your hands. Up, 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 yeah, you feel that? Up, up, look at me. You go up, release, up, release, with your hands, with your seat, everything. Up, release, up. Up, up, up. You're not doing up. Put your hands, your hands are apart. Why are they apart? Yeah, up. Good girl. When you're in the corner, you can pop to can. Our inside rein goes right on the neck. Now put your inside hand, look at me, on the neck. And right there, put the outside leg back when I say. One, two, three, now. Good girl. Good girl, look at me. Still look at me. Good girl, look at me. Come on, yeah, good job. Good job, lean back. Good job, look at me. Come on, turn your head and look at me. Good girl, look at me again. Look at me, turn your head and look at me. Poke your tongue out at me, look at me. Poke your tongue out more at me. That's it, throw me a raspberry, look at me. Turn your head, keep turning your head, keep turning your head, keep it there. Turn your head like this and look at me. And keep on me, no, keep on me, never I look forward, Just keep on me. Oh, keep on me, keep on me, keep on me, keep on me, don't let go, keep on me, come on, come on Heidi Klom, look at me, keep on me, keep on me, keep on me, keep on me, come on, keep on me, keep on me, right, I can teach a half pass, keep on me, keep on me, good girl, keep on me, come down the centre line at C, keep on me. Keep on me, keep cantering, keep on me. Right, a diagonal line to K. So C, keep on me, to K. Good girl, put your outside leg back a little bit and push the inside shoulder to me. Good change, it's okay. Good girl, it's all right, it's all right, keep riding. And now go more forward, go. Keep on me, super, put your hands together. Keep looking at me, flick the nose up a little bit, up with the hands, right to the ceiling. Look at me though, look at me up to the ceiling with your hands and let go. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Yeah, keep looking at me, keep looking at me, keep looking at me, <laughs> keep looking at me, up to the ceiling, up, up to the ceiling with your hands. And the, you're riding him downhill, ride up. So think up and let go, lean back, look at me, up and let go, good. Now keep looking at me and ride up and let go as quickly as you can and think I must keep cantering. And just see what happens, good girl. So with your hands, think up and let go. Up and let go quicker with your hands. Yeah, 
What happens to the canter? <laughs> then do that less. Up and let go less. What are you looking at me? So you did it quickly then. Now you do the up and let go slower. That's it. Now do it again. Look at me. Keep cantering, but think up and let go as quickly as you can. Quicker in the hand. So up and let go quicker. Up and let go quicker. So up and let go quicker. But keep cantering. Up and let. Keep playing with that. Good girl. That's it. Now be brave and try to make a mistake. Keep cantering. But if he's walks, it doesn't matter. Okay. So up and let go as quick as you can. Try not to kick too much. Make him a little rounder in your fingers. In your fingers, keep doing it. Slower, more, 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 and go. Let go in the front. Woo! <laughs> yeah, now just have fun. Do whatever you want. Go on, just go have fun. So here guys, this is just awesome. Sigurta is actually super talented. And one of her, someone said to her one day, you've got so much fear and you're never gonna be a good rider because you've got so much fear. And that's what they left her with. And so she's been here for two days and now she's literally just playing with G. It's absolutely amazing. Never played with tempo like this before. And watch this, let her play. <laughs> okay, Sig, we're gonna try and make the canter as small as you can. So keep going. Don't annoy him so much with the leg. That's and just go up, release, and play with your fingers at the same time and try to stay at my pace. Try to stay with, with me. Try to stay with me. Try to stay with me. Try to stay with me. Slower. Think, think back to me. That's it. Don't quickly go. That's it. That's it. Nah, now you got it. Feel that. And then go forward again. And then when you get to me, you try to walk at my pace. So think tall, so keep cantering, and just think tall, let go, but play with your fingers and stay with me. Stay with me, don't creep in front, stay with me. Keep going, oh, oh sorry. <laughs> that was so good. Guys, I hope you really, really enjoyed that. Isn't he the bestest, our GG? Um, it was just so enjoyable. Fear is something that's so hard to overcome and just, it's just not easy. So any of you out there are struggling with fear, please write in the comments below. Please let me know how I can help you because <laughs> G's hiding. G's like, I've had enough of the camera, guys. I've had enough of the camera. <laughs> yeah, please let me know because Sigata, like the difference was just amazing. It, you know, it, it just, it warms my heart and I just want to help you all. So remember, please subscribe because the more subscribers we get, the more times we can do this. So see you guys. Say bye to Sigata two times. Bye. <laughs>